Okay, our goal in example 1.19 is to analyze the continuity of the functions f and g. Now f is a piecewise function. It's defined um, to be 4 minus x when x is between um, negative 1 and 2, including the points negative 1 and 2. And then when x is greater than 2 but less than or equal to 3, it's defined to be x squared. So I'll draw the 4 minus x point first. So 4 minus x, that would be a, a line with y-intercept 0, 4, and so that's just a line right there with slope negative 1 <clears throat> and y-intercept 0, 4. And then uh, when x is greater than 2, we have x squared. So that would be um, 2, 4, but not including the point 2, 4. And it would be a parabola cupping up towards 3, 9. So all I'm going to do is put put this point and say this is 3 comma 9. Okay, so this is a, a continuous on the part where it's a line, it's continuous on the part where it's a parabola. The only discontinuity on that closed interval from negative 1 to 3 is um, when x is equal to 2. And when we're discussing continuity, we always write it in terms of the, the x um, intervals. So it's, the, it's part of the domain where we're saying it's continuous. So we would say that this function is continuous f is continuous from, let's see, negative 1 to 3, or no, negative 1 to 2, and from 2 to 3. And if we were to do this in interval notation, we would say it's continuous from negative 1, comma, 2, not including 2 because there's a jump discontinuity at x equals 2. But then from 2 all the way up to 3, and it's continuous at both endpoints, mainly because the, the right and left hand limits is actually equal to the function at those points. Okay, so let's look at g. g is the function um, y equals the square root of 2 plus x, and so that's going to be a parabola turned on its side, and it's going to go through the point 0, 0. Um, if I plug in negative 1, I'll get positive 1. If I plug in 2, or if I plug in 4, or th no, if I plug in one, two, 2, I get square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so it looks something like this. And this is going to be uh, continuous everywhere where the function is defined. And so it's continuous on the interval from negative 2 all the way up to infinity. So I'd say continuous on negative 2 to infinity. And we don't include, um, we don't use a closed bracket at infinity because you can't actually include the, that point. 